go ahead. Good morning. Uh, I am Dr. Nicola. I am an internal medicine physician out of Good Samaritan Hospital. I would like to talk to you today about pap smears. Um, so when we talk about pap smears, we want to talk about who should get them, why would they get them, when to repeat them, and also what is pap smears. First, uh, let's talk who should get pap smears. So pap smears are um, a way to screen for cervical cancer, uh, which are females starting at the age of 21 uh, years old, um, or the immune deficient females, for example, those who have HIV, should be started at age of uh, first sexual encounter. And we naturally repeat those pap smears once a year for the first three years, and then we start skipping up to three years in between. Um, what is pap smear? Pap smear is a way, as I said, to uh, screen for cervical cancer. Uh, it's a simple procedure that is done in the office that we naturally do a brushing of the cervix, which is the neck of the uterus, and uh, those cells are, are sent uh, for a pathology exam. Um, those cells are tested under the microscope uh, for certain abnormalities. So when we say why should we get those pap smears, it's mainly to check about those cells and see if they lapse in the normal category or the completely abnormal cancer category. There is a big spectrum in between that contains, for example, the ASCUS, which is abnormality of undetermined significance, or also could be a low-grade dysplasia, which is a little bit higher abnormality, or high-grade dysplasia, which is higher even. Um, we naturally also check for HPV virus, which is a virus that can cause abnormalities in the cervical cells. Um, so when we do that, we're, we're checking for this virus and the abnormality of cells in order for us to uh, take care of them in case of abnormalities. I personally recommend all the ladies to get uh, tested for that if they haven't been tested and to keep up the screening because it's really very significant and it can save lives. Thank you.